Well, let's give it a little taste, see what we got. I'm going to just taste the rice, maybe a little bit of the bell pepper. And I use red and green bell pepper, just that's what I had. Mm. Got a good flavor. So today I thought I made me a jambalaya. So this is a little avocado oil. Maybe a, I don't know, half a teaspoon. And this is a one pound of a pork, pork roast and smoked sausage. And I actually got two different types of smoked sausage. Uh, and I, I got a little bit more than a half a pound of pork and a little bit less with the half a pound of sausage. But you can do half and half, just as long as you get around a pound of meat total. You can do pork and chicken, chicken and sausage, so whatever kind of meat you want. So this is uh, pork and sausage. And we're just going to get this to brown for a few minutes. On a medium low heat. Okay, it's been about eight minutes. As you can see, we're getting a nice little brown starting to form. Now at this point, we'll go ahead and add the vegetables to it. We got an onion, bell pepper, celery, and garlic. Go ahead and add all of that. And I, I diced them up, not too fine. I mean, you don't want them to cook the pieces. Like a medium dice, I guess. Got all that added. And we'll go ahead and stir that up. And uh, like I said, I cooked the meat about eight minutes. I'm going to cook the vegetables until they wilt a little bit. Probably about, I don't know, about, man, I guess about five minutes. I haven't added any liquid yet. And if you notice, the uh, just from adding the uh, vegetables, you can actually scrape the sides and, uh, you know, get get the brownness off. So you don't really have to add no liquid yet. Like I said, we're going to cook this about five minutes on a, you know, medium heat. All right, it's been about five minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and add a uh, bay leaf to it. One bay leaf. Here's my seasonings. Salt, black pepper, and cayenne pepper. This is my chicken broth. And also we're going to add, this is a large, not a large can, but this is a 14 and a half ounce can of just diced tomatoes. And I'm going to add half the can to it with the juice. Ain't got to be uh, perfect. Just kind of eyeball it, you know. Eh, I'd say that's about half. And we get that mixed up real good. Now for this step, uh, uh, when you added everything to it, you, you, you can add the rice as well. Uh, or you could cook the rice on the side and then add it. But I'm going to go ahead and cook it with the gravy. I don't usually do it this way, but I'm going to figure I'll do it this way this time. This is uh, some white basmati rice. And basically just, uh, this is the cup that comes with my rice cooker. So this is actually like three-fourths of a cup. But the recipe I'm using says one cup. So we'll see how it turns out. Go ahead and uh, bring this up to a boil. And uh, basically, uh, once it gets to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat and just let it simmer until the rice is cooked, uh, about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, I said we got a nice boil now. Go ahead and cover it. So reduce your fire to where it's just simmering. Cover it, and we're going to let this cook for 20 to 25 minutes or until the rice is done. And, uh, I'm actually going to add a fourth more cup of rice to it. Uh, the recipe called for one one cup of uncooked rice, so I'm going to follow the recipe and not try to wing it. So basically use one cup of uh, raw rice. So like I said, just let it simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so this... Uh, took a total of uh, 20 minutes and the rice is cooked fully take out the one bay leaf and that's pretty much what we look like that'll be my lunch today and probably supper tonight 
and maybe lunch tomorrow and maybe supper tomorrow night too so like I said um may, I might need a little salt you got you got to watch with the sausage because the sausage does have a lot of salt in it so just keep that in mind but I can always add that at the table spice got got a little spice to it well let's give it a little taste see what we got here Very good. Might need a little salt, but I can add that at the table. Like I said, quick and easy. Really ain't got to watch it. Just to watch the last five minutes or so. Make sure you don't overcook the rice. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. Thanks.